Launched last year, the Lenovo Smart Display was the first Google Assistant display to come on the market a few months before Google released their own Smart Display, now known as the Google Nest Hub. We've had our Lenovo Smart Display for over six months now, so in this video, I'm going to go over what are the top features of the Lenovo Smart Display, how the device has held up over the past six months, what I typically use the device for, and then ultimately whether or not we recommend the Lenovo Smart Display. Let's dive in. When Lenovo gave me a Smart Display back in February, I was skeptical about it. I already had several Nest Hubs at that point, and I didn't quite know if I needed another Smart Display. The question I kept asking myself about the Lenovo Smart Display was, what exactly did it offer that was different from Google's own Smart Display? The 10-inch version that I was sent was much larger than my Nest Hub, and it had a camera. Those were the main things I knew about the device before I pulled it out of its box for the first time. The build quality of the device was noticeably nicer than the Nest Hub. The volume and mute buttons felt more solid, and I really liked the bamboo wood backing of the device. The Lenovo Smart Display can be placed in both a widescreen or vertical screen setup. Though most of the time you're going to keep it in landscape because the UI of the smart display only works in landscape mode. You'd only put the device in its other configuration for video calling, which we'll get to a little later. Setting up the device was very simple and similar to setting up other Google Assistant devices. The next thing you notice when you turn the device on is of course the screen. It's pretty big and overall quite nice. Compared to the Nest Hub though, the screen is much more blue looking, especially if the lighting you have tends to be on the warmer side. This leads me to the largest downside of the Lenovo Smart Displays in that they do not have an ambient color light temperature sensor like you would find in a Google Nest Hub as well as the Google Nest Hub Max. Ambient color light temperature sensors are critical to having a screen look correct in different lighting environments and it is key to why the Google Nest Hub and Nest Hub Max are the best choices for a digital photo display connected to Google Photos. Photos are only one of the main features for the Lenovo Smart Display. Now after using the device for over six months, I think for the end user, the main features of this device are going to be photos, music, recipes, videos, and of course, the Google Assistant. Now, unlike photos, music is actually an area where my Lenovo Smart Display outshines my Nest Hub. The Lenovo Smart Display has a great speaker for its price and provides much more bass than the Google Nest Hub. There is a caveat here though, and that's the Nest Hub Max which comes out next month. We don't yet know what the Nest Hub Max will sound like, but it's safe to say that based on the specs for it, it'll probably be just as good, if not better, than the Lenovo Smart Display with the Max's stereo speakers and three inch woofer in the back. Recipes are another area where the Lenovo Smart Display really shines. The huge screen real estate is great for viewing recipes and Overall, Google's recipe system has vastly improved since the feature was debuted almost two years ago. Now there are lots of sites that support Google's recipe system. When you search for a recipe on Google, you can hit send to smart display. Then you can go to your Lenovo smart display and say, start cooking and Google will bring up the recipe on the display. The Google Assistant on the smart display will guide you through the ingredients you need to prepare as well as the steps you need to take in order to complete the recipe. And you can save your favorite recipes by adding them to your cookbook. Videos are also great on the Lenovo smart display. Again, the huge screen real estate of the device really makes all the difference with the 10 inch variant. It's great for playing YouTube videos, especially if you decide to place your smart display in your kitchen and need to watch some cooking videos on YouTube. Do note that in case you wanted to turn your device into a TV for your kitchen, services like Netflix and Hulu are not yet supported on Google Smart Displays. The last and most important feature of the Lenovo Smart Display is of course the Google Assistant. The Google Assistant can do so many things, it's hard to cover them all now. It can basically answer anything you'd type in the Google search bar. For cooking, it'll find you recipes. Realize you've run out of something? 
add it to your shopping list. You can do things like asking it to play the latest news, play podcasts, music, get you the weather, tell you how long it'll take you to get somewhere, add something to your calendar, create reminders, control your smart home devices, play games, make phone calls, etc. There is just so much you can use the Google Assistant for now, it's kind of crazy. Now there is one feature that I haven't mentioned yet that does set the Lenovo Smart Displays apart from specifically devices like the Google Nest Hub, and that feature is a camera. Both sizes of the Lenovo Smart Displays come with a camera. The camera allows a user to use the Google Assistant to make Google Duo calls on the Smart Display. The video quality on the Lenovo Smart Display is pretty decent with a 5 megapixel wide angle camera that allows it to do 720p video calling. Also, the Lenovo Smart Display has a camera cover which is unique compared to the Google Nest Hub Max. Now video calling isn't really a feature I use day to day, but in my testing Duo works really well. Duo is available on almost every device imaginable now, including Apple devices like the iPhone. So for a video calling solution, it's actually pretty great because it spans across different ecosystems. Now before we wrap up this video, there are a couple issues that we did run into with the Lenovo Smart Display over the past six months that I do want to mention. One issue I noticed right away with the Lenovo Smart Display is that its display lags way more than the Google Nest Hub I have. Now I don't have the smaller Lenovo Smart Display to compare, so this could only be an issue with the larger Lenovo Smart Display. The second issue I've noticed with the Lenovo Smart Display over the past six months is on occasion there are just weird and slight inconsistencies with its UI compared to the UI of the Google Nest Hub. The best example of this is when playing media on a speaker group. On the Nest Hub, I can control the individual speakers in the speaker group from the screen, but on the Lenovo Smart Display, I can only control the overall group volume. Now sometimes it will show all of the speakers in the group, but it's been pretty inconsistent with this over the past few months. Now one reason for this difference could be that while the Google Nest Hub and the Lenovo Smart Display, while their UIs look almost identical, they're actually, the software behind them is not. Google's own devices, which are the Google Nest Hub and Google Nest Hub Max, those devices are actually built off of a Chromecast architecture, whereas all other Google Assistant smart displays are built on a stripped down version of Android known as Android Things. The difference between the architectures could be the reason why there are some slight discrepancies between the two devices that I've experienced over the past six months. All right, to wrap things up, here's my take on the Lenovo Smart Display. Overall, I've quite enjoyed my time using the device, and in a world where the Google Nest Hub and Google Nest Hub Max didn't exist, buying this device would be a no-brainer. But because that's not the world we live in, we live in a world where this device competes directly with Google's own offering, I think that should give anyone pause when considering whether or not to get the Lenovo Smart Display. The areas where I think you'd choose a Lenovo Smart Display over Google One are if you want a camera and a smaller form factor with a seven inch display, want better sound in a smaller display size, if you like the overall design aesthetic of the Lenovo Smart Display better than Google's, if you can get the device cheaper than Google's offering, or if you just in general like Lenovo products better than Google's. Otherwise, my recommendation would be to go either with a Google Nest Hub or a Google Nest Hub Max, especially if you want the best display for displaying pictures. Well, that wraps up our six months later review on the Lenovo Smart Display. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more Google Assistant videos like this one. Also, be sure and drop a comment below. Let us know if you agreed with our verdict or not. I always look forward to looking for your comments in our videos. Well, anyways, thanks again so much for watching. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder.